paano nga ba mag-start at ano ang mga dapat mong malaman, lalong-lalo na kung ikaw ay isang beginner vlogger. Hello, I'm Mommy Ruth, your Millennial Mommy Vlogger and welcome to my channel. This video is a sequel video I made kung paano kumita sa YouTube kahit konti ang subscribers mo. Where I shared my July 2019 income sa video na yon at at iba-ibang sources ng kita through vlogging. This video is also a collaboration with Omni and Bryce channel where they are also sharing tips about their vlogging journey as a family vlogger. So make sure that you check out their channel after watching this video. Sa video na ito, isi-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga best tips sa mga nagsisimula pa lang sa kanilang mga YouTube channel. So let's get right into it. First tip is just start. Okay, so pag ikaw, naisip mo siguro gusto mong mag-YouTube, pero siguro napigilan mo yung sarili mo kasi inisip mo, ay, natatakot ako mabash, ay, hindi pa ako confident, ay, wala pa akong equipment, kulang pa yung uh, saka na pag graduate na ako, or saka na pag may asawa na ako, or saka na pag buntis na ako, or saka na pag mamas na yung baby ko, or something like that. You can have all the reasons in the world, pero ang bottom line niyan is fear, procrastination, and perfectionism is standing in your way to start. So, kaya naman ang aking first tip is just start. Kasi, sa totoo lang, my own personal journey, dati ayoko pang mag-vlog kasi um, wala pa akong camera or wala pa akong wala pa akong ko alam ko ano yung sasabihin ko. Pero, way back in 2014, nung nag-start ako actually mag-vlog, hindi naman ako bumili ng bagong camera. Ginamit ko lang yung point and shoot camera na dadala ko uh, at that time when I was an OFW. Napilitan ako mag-vlog kasi uh, dati ko na siyang iniisip na gusto ko siyang gawin. Pero nung time na yun talagang wala kaming lipad kasi Ramadan. So sabi ko, instead na magastos-gastos ako, wala namang magagawa dito sa Middle East, mag-vlog na lang ako. So napilitan ako mag-vlog that time. And yun nga, yung lahat ng mga reason kaya ko siya pinostpone, hindi naman talaga siya totoong reason. So the only uh, way na makakapag-start ka ng channel mo is kalimutan mo lahat ng reason and just start your channel. At least malalaman mo kung para sa'yo siya, kung gusto mo yung process, kung love mo ba siya, and it's something na gusto mong ipagpatuloy. The truth is, uh, we are scared and uh, sometimes uh, if you run around life being scared, walang mangyayari sa sa buhay mo. So, sometimes hindi mo mapapansin isang taon na pala lumipas, since gusto mong mag-vlog, or isang dekada na pala. <laughs> <laughs> hindi na uso ang vlog. So just start now, start with what you have just to keep the mem eh, just to keep the momentum rolling. Okay? So my tip number 2 is to decide kung sino ang kakausapin mo sa iyong vlog. Ibig sabihin nito, decide your audience. That way, makakapag-brand ka sa sarili mo. Ano ibig kong sabihin? Maraming tips kung nanood kayo dito sa YouTube, maririnig yung sasabihin nila, find your niche, find your audience. Ano mga ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin nun, mag-iisip ka ng isang tao, isang tao lang talaga ang gusto mong kausapin at laging siyang iisipin mo sa lahat ng videos na gagawin mo. Itong tao na to na gusto kong kausapin sa vlog ko, interesado ba siya sa ganito? Interesado ba siya sa ganyan? Interesado ba siya sa ganyan? Kasi I can relate as a creator sa simula, ang dami mong gustong gawin, gusto mong gumawa ng, sa totoo lang, ako gusto kong gumawa ng fashion videos, gusto kong gumawa ng makeup videos, gusto kong gumawa ng daily vlogs, gusto kong gumawa ng mother videos, hindi ko alam saan ako magsisimula. So, sa simula pa lang, since we are not celebrities, hindi tayo sikat, hindi tayo artista, the only way para mapansin ka dito sa YouTube is dapat lumabas ka sa search engine. And pag lumabas ka sa search engine, pag nakita ka ng audience mo, at nakita niya yung channel mo, yun lang talaga yung pinag uh, topic or you just revolve around the topic of interest to him, that's the only way na mag-subscribe yung audience mo. Not because you're an artista, or not because you're good-looking, or not because um, you're Filipino. So, hindi talaga. There's no other reason. Eh, and the only reason na mag-subscribe sila sa'yo is if nasa sa'yo yung hinahanap niya. So, just to make this clear, to give an example, I want to share with you my channel. Right here is my Miss Kay channel. Where in my first channel, I decided to talk to flight attendant aspirants. So, all of the videos on the channel is only related to flight attendant aspirants. Makeup ng mga flight attendant aspirants. Tips sa interview, paano mag-answer ng interview question. Tips sa Qatar Airways interview. Tips sa Oman Air interview. Tips sa PAL Express interview. Tips sa Cebu Pacific. So, everything like that. 
So when I decided I want to talk about motherhood, I have to start another channel. Because even though na nasa sayangan ako, marami na akong subscriber doon, uh, I just want to be consistent with that brand. Because that with that YouTube channel, uh, na establish na siya. Eh. It's only for flight attendant aspirants. So ayun. Um, I'm not saying na tama yung ginawa ko and malika pag ginawa mo yun. Pero it is the fastest way to grow your channel. If alam ng audience mo na kung ano yung may expect niya sa yon, hindi pa yung this week gumawa ka ng interview tips, next week gumawa ako ng mukbang. So parang ang layo, di ba? So ang um, ginagawa mo kasi para sa audience mo. Binibigay mo sa kanila yung control as a point of view of a customer. So, ikaw, for example, a customer ka ng isang restaurant at nasanay ka sa lasa, let's say, ng Chicken Joy. And gusto mo, every time na may craving ka sa Chicken Joy, pupunta ka sa Jollibee, bibilhin mo yung Chicken Joy. So, imagine mo na lang one time pumunta ka sa Jollibee, iniba nila yung flavor. Ginawa nilang Korean Chicken Joy, <laughs> yung Jollibee mo na yun. O, diba? So, parang nawalan ka ng control sa gusto mong kainin on that day as a customer. So, magiging sad ka, na-disappoint ka, naging angry ka, at ayaw mo nang bumalik sa Jollibee. So, yung mga big companies, ang ginagawa nila, they make sure that everything is standard. They're delivering the same product consistently, day in, day out. Hindi para sa benefit ng kumpanya yon Para yun sa benefit ng customer. Para nasa kanila yung control sa life nila. So, kung anong gusto nila, ah, I want to consume this product. So, yun. Sa channel mo, ganun din ang gawin mong parang uh, mindset when you are deciding kung anong gusto mong gawin sa vlog mo. Kasi, sa totoo lang, syempre, hindi mo naman talaga malalaman agad kung saan yung hit topic na mas sisikat ka, di ba? So, uh, the best way to do this nga is isipin mo kung sino kausap mo. Is he single? Is she single? Is she a mom? And uh, ano yung mga interesado sa kanya? So, you can create different videos around those interests ng taong yan. And kung may isa sa mga videos na yon ang nag-hit or dumami yung views, then you stick to that topic. <laughs> Anyways, this is a very broad topic to talk about. Um nailing down your audience, deciding what content to want, you want to make on your channel. So, if you want to know more about that, we can dive into the deeper details on how I do it myself on my two channels. So, make sure you hit the notification bell because in the future, I'm going to make a vlogging tip on how to make content for your YouTube channel. So, yun. So, right now, let's move on to the next tip. Okay, my tip number three is to focus on educational content. Vlogs about your life, real talk, wala silang pakailang. <laughs> Actually, kasi YouTube is the second largest search engine in the internet. So, most people na may hinahanap, kung hindi sila nagahanap sa Google, nagahanap sila sa YouTube. Lalo na kung tutorial lang kailangan nilang malaman, something na you have to show, or something na gusto nilang opinion ng isang tao, sa YouTube sila nagsusearch. Or kung tamad sila magbasa sa YouTube, sila nagsusearch. So, isipin mo na lang, paano kaya, um, kagaya nung sinabi ko earlier about uh, being searchable, or para mahanap ka ng audience mo, the best way to start your channel is gumawa ka ng mga videos na sinesearch ng mga tao. Kasi pag nagsimula kang gumawa ng videos about your life, uh, your daily life, or something like that, siguro ang manunood lang yung mama mo and yung relatives mo and yung friends mo and classmates mo. Sa real talk lang ha, sa totoo lang. Kasi hindi naman tayo artista, hindi naman tayo sikat. So, walang magiging interesado sa buhay natin. So, if for example, you met, imagine mo lang you just met someone sa party and then binigay niya na sa'yo yung buong life story niya. Anong impression mo sa kanya? Di ba? Oversharing. Pero pag, for example, may namit kang tao and then paunti-unti binibigyan kanya ng tips. For example, sabihin niya, ah, gusto mo ba mag-flight attendant? Actually, ano, flight attendant ako before. May tip ako sa'yo, paano ka makapasa? O, ayun, di ba? Mas magiging interesado ka sa tao yun. You wanna add him na sa social media. You wanna be friends with that person. You wanna be text mates. You wanna be phone pal. <laughs> Jurassic, no? You wanna be following each other on, on social media and then you could ask more tips from that person. And then later on, doon ka na makikurious sa life niya as a flight attendant, di ba? First of all, syempre, unahin mo, paano yung makukuha mo sa tao yun? Ano yung value na makukuha mo? Bakit mo siya bibigyan ng oras? Bakit mo siya bibigyan ng attention? Di ba? Kasi lahat tayo busy, lahat tayo may mga kanya-kanyang family, and ano, so yung oras natin very valuable. It's a valuable resource. So, if you are a beginner, ito yung the best tip na pwede kong ibigay sa iyo. Don't waste your time trying to be 
a celebrity vlogger <laughs> kasi if you're not a celebrity unless you're a celebrity kasi sa totoo lang the first way to build your audience is to give them value first. So, focus on educational content. I'm not saying na never ka na talaga magagawa ng daily vlogs. Surely, pag meron ka ng following, meron ng mga taong interested sa buhay mo, then you can branch out and do uh, daily vlogs, ano pa yung other passions mo, spirituality, finance, mga ganun. Then you can share your interest on that and test your audience if interesado din sila. Para, di ba, you can create more videos like that. Pero it's very important na you get, they get to know you more kasi may binibigay kang value information sa kanya or educational information sa kanila first. Yan ang naging talagang foundation ng aking first channel which is the Miss Capers channel. It's all about giving value and then uh, now it is a full-time business for me. It's giving me so much income uh, even though nandito lang ako sa bahay. So yeah, more on that later. So tip number four, consistency. This is the hardest tip of them all. Kahit ako nahihirapan ako dito, you can see in my channel sometimes nag-upload ako every day and then sometimes wala, walang upload once a week. So no one, siguro isipin mo kung baguhan ka pa lang. Nobody cares naman eh if I don't post. Pero actually, sa totoo lang, uh, I've seen my channel growth uh, those times na nagpo-post ako versus those times na hindi ako nagpo-post. Grabe sobrang triple times times 10 pa talaga ang growth ng channel ko nung 2 weeks ay everyday meron akong upload. Sa 2 weeks na yon meron akong 5 or 7 videos na grabe ang ganda ng performance nila. Ang dami agad ng views. Ang parang to the point na feeling ko viral sila charot. <laughs> so, ay mo yun, if consistent ka mag-post, more chances of winning. Um, yung mga tao ngayon, gusto nila daily vlogs na, daily meron sila napapanood. You're gonna be bingeable. Yung mga tao, mas ma ah, ano sila mag-subscribe sa channel mo kasi they know na you're there for the long run. You're not a fly-by-night vlogger na bukas wala na naman ipopost. Alam mo yun? So, I know it's so hard to stay consistent. I've been struggling it, with it myself as well. Pero on the coming videos, I'm going to share with you the tips that I have learned on how to be consistent. So make sure again that you hit that notification bell on this channel para ma-inform kayo when that video comes out. Uh, a story also about consistency. For example, meron kang favorite restaurant and then pumunta ka sa restaurant na yun. Ito, nangyari talaga sa akin to real life. One Sunday, sabi ko, punta tayo doon sa restaurant ni Judai. Ayun, sabi niya, ha, sige, pumunta kami. Pagdating doon, close pala siya. So, we were so disappointed. We didn't know the schedule. <laughs> and, diba? So, that will never happen if I ask my husband, let's go to 7-Eleven. <laughs> For sure, bukas yung 7-Eleven and nandun lahat ng kailangan ko. Parang, alam mo yun, dependable siya kasi consistently, 7-Eleven is open 7 days a week. 11 months a year. Hindi ko alam, pero it's always open. <laughs> Just kidding. So, alam mo yun, um, so what are the chances na close yung isa tapos yung isa? Lagi, alam ko laging open, di ba? So, sa channel mo, business siya, ganun din mo siya ituring. Lagi dapat open. Laging may bagong content. Laging um, have to be consistent. Kung, yun ay, kung gusto mo talagang gawing career, ang pag-YouTube. Pero pag hindi youtube ka lang for, you know, <laughs> memories and things like that. One last take away for this uh, tip which is consistency. Okay, very important. Uh, sa totoo lang, ako rin, I struggled with this. Kasi, before, iniisip ko, mag youtube lang ako. Kasi, it's my passion. Gusto ko siyang gawin. I love editing videos, creating videos. And, kung maging successful ako, okay. Kung hindi, then hindi. So, in short, hindi ko sinuseryoso yung sarili ko. Pero, the moment na I started taking YouTube seriously, I see significant growth in my subscribers, in my views, and in my income as well as a business ko. So, ganito lang kasi yun. How can you expect other people to take you seriously if ikaw mismo, you don't take yourself seriously? Diba? So, now it's time to really think if YouTube business or YouTube career is for you. And if you decide na it is for you, then yun, sa totoo lang, yun ang reason or secret for me na nagiging mas consistent na ako ngayon sa pag-upload ko. Nag-decide lang talaga ako na I'm gonna take this career seriously kasi nakikita ko naman na yung future ko mas maganda kaysa sa if ever, for example, magiging empleyado lang ako. So, I know that this is my brand, this is my business, at nakikita ko my future. So, I need to take it seriously. So, yun. O, oh, ba Again, mom, she's this video is a collaboration with the Omni and Rice channel. Make sure that you check them out. They do have a lot of vlogging tips sa kanilang family vlogging journey. Check out their videos after watching this video.
And for our tip number five is get a mentor. This has been practiced for centuries. If you want to learn something, learn from someone who has already done what you want to achieve and learn from them. Learn from their mistakes and learn from uh, their techniques on how they were able to achieve what you want to do. Having a mentor saves you time, takes the guesswork out of the process, and keeps you motivated on achieving your goal. If you can see, this has been a pattern among successful people in the world. And most successful people in the world, they use the power of mentorship into their advantage. So, meron talaga mag assist tayo personally at uh, maggagabay sa'yo or mag-guide sa'yo kung paano iset up yung channel mo, ano ba yung best practices ng pag edit ng pag film and paano nga ba yung business ng vlogging and how to work with different brands. I would like to invite you sa aming upcoming workshop happening very soon. The details will be on the description box below. And yun nga, sana makapunta kayo. Marami ng seats ang nakuha so make sure na you reserve your seat as soon as you can. Okay? Ngayon, kung gusto mo namang matuto ng more tips on vlogging or how to be a YouTuber, may ginawa akong different videos right here that you could check out. May maraming mga useful tips na magagamit mo lalong-lalo na if you are just beginning dito sa YouTube career mo. Anyways, I hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe for good vibes and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! Mwah!